Today at Smith Botics, we're all about kit building. So we're gonna go for this Velleman mini kit for the Super Stereo Ear. And uh, we'll check it out and let you know, um, you know what kind of quality it is and if it's fun to build. So stay tuned. It's time to unpack this um, kit here. So you know, it's nice, gives you a little picture of how it should um, turn out. So it's kind of helpful sometimes in these kits. Um, of course, we have our bag of electronic components, uh, capacitors, got an AC holder in there, a little hardware mixed in all together, a couple of um, microphones in there, a little switch. So it does come with um, everything bagged up. Um, here's their PCB board. Uh, looks like it's nicely silk screen. So, uh, it's got all the part numbers on there, little representations of where things should go. That's always, um, of course, very helpful, um, and really necessary in these kinds of kits. Um, looks like it's got some nice big solder pads. So that's also a really nice feature to have on these um, kinds of kits. You've got your battery holder for standard alkaline batteries, it looks like, 1.5 volts. Uh, I'm going to pull in three of those. And let's see, a little potentiometer for, I'm assuming, our volume control. And looks like we got some resistors. Um, they're not marked, but that's not a big deal. I've got a chart. And I usually, I think on some of the other kits I've seen, they actually will um, tell you the colors. Now, um, on other kits I've had, they've usually had the instructions. Okay, here it is. So they put the, they print the instructions on the inside, which is actually pretty convenient. And one thing I do like about um, the Velleman kits is they do give you the schematic as well. So that's really helpful uh kind of troubleshooting and just you know having that circuit so if you want to modify something later uh, at least you have a chance on that so their instructions are pretty good i did um mess up another kit once where i wasn't really careful about uh you know they had certain things in a certain format and i thought all the transistors were the same but they snuck in something so you got to be a little careful when you read these um, but for the most part you know this is going to be uh pretty easy kit. There's nothing too complex about it. Um, so I'm going to start um, soldering things up now. Just going to use it step by step. Uh, here, you know, it looks like you start with your resistors. It's usually best to get the low pro profile stuff done first. Capacitors, then you go LEDs, switches, IC sockets, um, PCB tabs, microphones go in then, uh, and then electrolytic capacitors. Uh, phone jack, potentiometer, and then you actually insert your ICs into those sockets. Um, and then, you know, battery holder so that you got some power. And I'm assuming it's step number 12. I should be all set to check it out and see how it actually works. So this is um, what I'm going to be building now. I'll, I'll show you a little bit of the soldering, but um, pretty much you're just, you know, putting in all the parts where they go, following the instructions for that and then soldering them in. So I'll show you a little of the soldering, but for the most part, you know, we'll see it when it's all done. Okay, I emptied out the kit here a little bit. Um, you know, as I start a project like this, I usually like to kind of organize all the different parts. Oh, this didn't come with it, of course. Um, so I kind of put out, um, you know, the various um, resistors, uh, everything kind of in the same spot. I don't think these are all exactly the same value, so I have to be careful when I'm putting those in, but these are essentially roughly the same size. Um, these were loose resistors. I thought these were going to be all of them, but there's loose resistors in the package as well. So I'll have to check the, the colors on those. Um, they're usually pretty good about, in these kits about uh, giving you the actual color combination uh, so that you can figure that out. Um, if you don't actually happen to have a chart or if you don't have it memorized, like I surely don't. Um, so yeah, this is all the parts together. We're going to start soldering things up. If you have to have something like this, which is um, a jeweler's loop, but just 
a jumbo size. This is helpful in kind of looking at some of the color markings to make sure you've got um, the right resistors. You know, it is labeled in the kit, but um, sometimes these can get a little small these days. So especially if your eyesight is not as good as it used to be like mine. So that is helpful. Of course, after you do your first round of soldering, you always need to trim it up a little bit because all those wires sticking out that you bent at an angle so the resistors would stay in are kind of messy. And, oop, I missed a couple there. I'm going to have to go back. Um, but you need to get that uh, done. And plus, also, when you're doing this, you realize, oh, I missed this one here. So I'll have to go back and still got the iron hot so it shouldn't be a big deal i'll take out the other one so okay putting in some capacitors Here's the um, kit completely assembled, um, soldered in all the components. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a few things you have to look out for. Polarity, of course, um, you know, that's going to be the electrolytic capacitors. Um, you know, it's fairly straightforward. You have to make sure you have the notch um, for the number one pin side of the IC. Uh, correct and um, did have that um, right it's very very subtle on the socket so you got to be careful about that um, the microphones um, you have to solder in these posts here uh, that it connects to it's also um, has some polarity there too um, which wasn't really marked that well no, no markings on here but essentially there's the the casing part um, that connects I'm assuming that's probably the negative uh, there was diagrams in there to help you kind of figure out which way it goes. So hopefully this is all together. Uh, a little wiggliness on this one here. I might want to re-solder that. Um, but when again, went together pretty straightforward. Um, you do screw with some spacers in between the uh, battery pack on, on here. And it's got a, a phone jack here. Of course, these are your two microphones. I was thinking this might be a good circuit for robotics, essentially, if it can amplify, you know, whatever's going on in in the uh, area. So if, we'll see how that works. Um, but that was the idea of kind of making this kit. It's something I can actually use uh, in the ultimate robot project. So it um, has a, you know, this potentiometer here as well, little LED that should show you when the power is on. But I'm going to just tighten this one up a little bit maybe re-solder that a little bit just to make sure it's got a good connection we'll put some flux down there just to be on the safe side and um, we'll show you how it worked out okay we're going to put in some alkaline batteries here start with that one it's easier and power this puppy up Okay, <clears throat> batteries are in. Just using alkaline batteries. Let's see if we get power. Ooh, we have an LED. Okay. Okay, something should be happening here. So let's hook it up to headphones and see what happens. Okay, the heart of this um, audio amplifier, basically, which is 
what this kit is all about is this little IC here. It is an NE5532 audio amplifier and uh, it's one of the essentially the main components you'll find right here right in the middle. So that's really doing a lot of the work. It has a lot of um, components of course supporting it but that's the chip that's really the powerhouse of this project. Okay, assembled um, power on, and we have this old iPhone uh, ear set in. And okay, I'm going to crank up the volume a little bit. And okay, yeah, wow. Um, I can, it, it's amplifying basically both sides. Okay, so looks like this one is your left ear and this one is your right ear so probably meant to be like that so if it's mounted on a robot I'm gonna have it something like that I might actually try and detach these and see if it still works but actually yeah it's um, I just barely turned it up and it's pretty clear I'm gonna raise it up even more and yeah my very humble voice is getting quite loud um, yeah that's that's actually not bad the sound quality is better than I thought it would I can hear kind of rustling here and there of the cable but um, yeah that's not bad I mean you can really amplify it it's it's all the way up now so it's not ear splitting or anything but yeah it's 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 definitely it's definitely amplifying really well and it is doing it in stereo now you know this is my right mic that's my left mic so right ear left ear um but yeah it's that's it's working really good so yeah i'd say this is um a nice little kit uh, just you know being powered off off of um these three alkaline batteries went together pretty easily and uh, not too many issues. Um, directions were pretty good. Um, <clears throat> not super extensive, but they have, you know, a lot of pictures, which is fine. Uh, pretty good identification of the components. And again, as I mentioned, I always like to have the schematic. I thought for a second I had some pads that were jump, but then I realized it was, you know, connecting to a five volt positive, which this is connected to the resistor. So that was okay. So it was good to be able to double check this and make sure um, everything was okay. But you can't hear this part, but uh, it's, it's uh, pretty good sound quality, I'd say, considering, you know, they're not super high end microphones, but I'm very happy with it. It seems like a Really good kit, it's nice to have the power switch, um, good components, and I'd say it worked out well. And of course, I always give you the picture. Let me, com let me compare, well, it's not exactly the same, it's pretty close, yeah. And this just looks like a little different, perhaps the angle or something, but uh, really good sound quality is much better than I thought it would be. Uh, it is truly a super stereo ear. So this will magnify essentially whatever you're listening at, and it will do it in stereo. If you turn it that way, you'll have your right and left microphones coming out to your right and left ear. So I would say a successful project and a very good kit. So um, definitely would recommend it for anyone who just wants to fiddle around with electronics. And in this case, um, like I said, I'm gonna be using this kind of a circuit or maybe even this particular circuit for amplification. Uh, for the robot's um, hearing. So works good. And I would give it a thumbs up. Easy build. Um, not not like, you know, for absolute beginners, but it's it wasn't hard. Um, the big thing is making sure you have the polarities right, making sure you have the IC in the right position with the number one pin uh, in near the notch of the uh, holder and uh, everything went pretty well. It's nicely well well constructed and I would give it a thumbs up. So good kit from Velman for the Super Stereo Ear. Nice job.